Alright, hey YouTube, this is, um, Jaden is 15 months and one week as of yesterday. <laughs> um, I've got a lot to talk about, so I'm going to talk about very quick, talk really quickly because I don't want to have to make a second part to this. Um, Jaden is, uh, we are, Jaden's doing well. Um, we took him to a Gymboree class yesterday, and every time we go to the Gymboree classes, or we go anywhere where there's strangers or little kids his age, he likes to go up and hug them. It doesn't matter who they are or anything like that, he will go up and hug them, even if he's never met them before. He's just a hugger. He loves to hug. And, um, we are still co-sleeping with him. Um, I know a lot of people are against that, but it works for us, and, uh, we just kind of do what works the best for us, and co-sleeping is what works for us, so that's what we do. He either sleeps in between me and Thomas, or I sleep in the middle, and he just really, you know, we just function that way. I don't know, like, he sleeps with us, and Thomas and I don't mind, so... He'll probably continue to sleep with us until, you know, we think it's time for him to start sleeping by himself. Mm. But right now, he sleeps with us, and that's what works for us. Mm. Um, I also was not aware before this, but I um, recently found out that it's dangerous to have a child buckled up in a car seat with a coat on, which was really eye-opening to me because I had no idea. Um, somebody left a comment on one of my videos where Jaden had a coat on, we were on our way to, to a Jamboree class, and he had a coat on in his car seat, and I guess that it's dangerous to do that, because in a car crash, I guess the coat could compress, and if the buckles are too loose, the baby could um, stand the chance of being ejected from the car. So, um, I guess the test to see if the coat's too big to wear is buckle the baby into the car seat with their coat on, take them out, and without readjusting the straps, put the baby back in the car seat and see how loose the straps are. If um, you can pinch the straps, um, then it's too loose. So, um, I guess the best way to do it is uh, once they get in the car, if it's cold outside, take their coat off, buckle them in, and then you can put the coat on backwards um, over top of the buckles, like put it through their arms or you can use blankets. So that's what we've been doing. We've been taking his coat off now before we put him in the car seat because I was unaware that that was dangerous. So, um, you know, we make sure his buckles are real nice and snug against his skin. And so that's an adjustment we've made. We were also, uh, Jane went to the doctor on Wednesday and he still has not passed 20 pounds yet. He's 20, 20 pounds and like 11 ounces or something. Really close to 21 pounds, but he's not quite, quite 21 pounds yet. Um, they measured 29 and a half inches, which I know is off. His head wasn't completely to the top, you know, where it, if you have kids, you know what you have to do. You have to land down, put their head all the way, touching the top. Well, his head wasn't touching, so... That measurement's a little off, um, because we took him to a WIC appointment, which I told you guys about, and he was only like 28 and a fourth inches long. So, um, I don't think he's 29 and a half inches long, but that's what the doctor measured. So that would put him at the 10th percentile for both height and weight for his age. But when we went to the WIC appointment, he was up the 5th percentile for both height and weight. So, I think the WIC um, measurements, I think they were a little um, more accurate. So, I'm just going to kind of go with those measurements. I think he's at the 5th percentile for both height and weight. He's still small, and we know that. But, I mean, he's growing. He's growing along his curve, so that's fine. He's just small for his age. And, um, he's still in size 4 diapers, probably yeah. will be in size 4 diapers for a while. And, um, he's still in size 12 month clothes, which is kind of annoying because he's, um, he's 15, yeah. 15 months in a week. And yeah. I'm just so sick of his clothes. 
do you ever get that way where you're just so sick of putting the same clothes on your child over and over? Like, I'm so ready for him to outgrow stuff so that we can go buy him some new clothes. I'm so ready to get him some new clothes. Because he's been in these clothes that he has forever now, like since before his first birthday. So, I'm just, I'm ready for him to grow out of his clothes so we can get him some new cute spring clothes. Because he has a ton of clothes, but they're just, I'm just getting sick of them, I guess you could say. Um, also, when we go out places and we have to change Jaden in a, cha a public changing station, he does not like it at all. Because his changing table here at home is, you know, cushioned. And the ones in the public rest restrooms aren't. So it always leaves a big red mark on his head. And I usually try, I put the diet the uh, like changing mat down and that's just not enough. I guess I'm going to have to carry the bl a blanket in his diaper bag to put underneath his head when we're changing him because he just always gets this big red mark across his head when he gets changed and he cries and he just hates it. <sighs> um, what else? Um, oh, the doctor also advised us that we need to start training Jade into a regular cup, not um, in try to start moving away from the sippy cup, which, um, I think that's way more easier said than done. He's only 15 months. He's only been on the sippy cup for about, um, like, completely full time on it for about, since he, you know, turned a year old. So, and we've tried to give him a cup, but he just, he tips it back too far, and all the liquid goes down his shirt. So, but we are trying to give him opportunities where we just put like a teeny bit of water in a cup and let him try to hold it and drink himself. He's not very good at it yet, but, you know, he's not going to learn unless we practice with him because they don't want, uh, our doctor doesn't want him, you know, going around sucking on a sippy cup all the time because that's bad for their teeth. Um, especially when they're drinking sugary juice, sugary um, drinks like juice and things like that. So we are trying to move toward uh, trying to teach him how to drink out of a regular cup. I, like I said, it's going to be a long while before he's able to, you know, drink completely 100% on his own out of the cup, but we are, you know, taking steps toward getting closer to him doing that. And I think that's mainly about it. Um, uh, if you guys know uh, Grace from the Grace Diaries, she has a little girl named Lacey who's just um, a month or so, a month or two older than Jaden, and she has this really cool peg toy that I really like. And Grace, we tried to find it. We went all over the place looking for it, and this was the closest thing I could find to what you had. Was this? Um, it's called Teaser. Seven different solid wood teasers. And, um, it's kind of like what, uh, Lacey has, but they are real little, like this. Like, here's, like, the wood boards. There's, like, seven different kinds. There's, like, this one, and this one, and then you have these little tiny pegs to put in there. You know, like this, which I just wanted to get it for him so he could practice his hand-eye coordination, like, putting the pegs in. But the only thing is, the hole, they're really little, for one. They're not very sturdy, and the holes aren't very deep. So, and these pegs are really little, and he likes to put them in his mouth. And they wiggle. They don't go in very sturdily. So they're not very easy to do. But that's what we got trying to find the same toy that Lacey had. But we were unable to find it, but we're still looking. So I wanted to quickly show you guys that. He can put the, the peg in the hole, though. He does do it. It's just kind of hard, because... They just weren't very well designed. And he also got a wood puzzle this week. It looks like this. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to tip it over and all the pieces will fall out. It looks like this. We got it from Target and it's just shapes and it's just like, you know, like a puzzle like this. And we're working with him on this. And I guess that's about it for this week. I will see you guys next week. Also, really quickly, I forgot to say that um, on at Jaden's doctor's appointment, he didn't get shots because um, we had to switch doctors 
because our doctor, his pediatrician, left um, left town and she moved offices, so we had to find a different doctor. So our records haven't tr uh, haven't transferred yet, so we were unable to get his shot. So we have an appointment to go next week to get a shot. Not next week, next month to get a shot. Hopefully our records will have transferred by then. So he didn't get any shots at his appointment. And I also forgot to tell you that Jane has a really bad diaper rash this week. And the doctor told us it was a yeast diaper infection, diaper rash. So they gave us um, um, a prescription for some ointment and we're putting that on him twice a day. And hopefully, hopefully that will clear up. <sighs> so... I had to really quickly throw that in because I forgot to take.